Hey YouTube, this is Dean Make Another Vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing, as it is very much appreciated. Okay, these have been sitting out for four days, um, unexposed to the house. Um, Andrew said, asked me to do this experiment. This is Ash Lye 12 pH cotton balls. Now, these will normally take, this is a Ash Lye Punkwood, uh, ash lye cotton ball that I keep in plastic bags drive spark into them take a spark really easy a couple of strikes they start embering away, turn into a big ember. Consistently take a spark very easily, no dramas. Um, that's all I did up. If you keep them in a plastic bag, they seem to take a spark, no dramas. Now these have been sitting out for four days, exposed to the house. It has been raining for two days, on and off. So, I was going to keep them for a week. The idea is, if you kept char cloth, now I keep char cloth in bags or in containers, and we all know, even if you keep char cloth in bags or in containers, eventually it loses, con loses reactivity. It'll pick up moisture, and it just is unviable, like non-viable after a while. So this has been sitting out for four days in the house, not covered up, just sitting here on like this. I was going to keep it for a week, but I think four days is pretty good. You kept char cloth sitting out here like this for four days in those sort of conditions. I don't think you'd have very good char cloth after that. I was going to keep a cup, some char cloth as a control as well, but yeah. Let's see. It's not a really good edge. It's a pretty poor platform. Four days sitting here. We're on to something. This stuff doesn't pick up moisture. Or if it does, it doesn't care. Um, yeah, I like that. I'm one over. Let's try this one. I'll put some more out. I'll leave it for a week this time if you want, but um, I think that's... pretty good indication of how viable this stuff is. That's four days. It's picking up a spark after four days of being left out, uncovered. Now Brisbane is subtropical. So we have reasonable moisture levels in the air. It has been raining. We had a big downpour the other day. So we've had good rain. That is very, very exciting. Um, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I don't think a week would matter. They're just turning to big embers. I'm going to be making more of this. Um, I'm going to do a whole bag of it up in 12 pH. Actually, I make up 100 of them at least. Maybe 200 up. And go from there. Um, yeah, that is very, very exciting. This is all I've got left. 
You always got to leave a couple out just for control. But I know just from my own experience, you have three month old charcloth, even if you leave it in a bag and don't leave it open, uh, leave it, don't open it up, you come back, it just doesn't pick a spark up very well at all. It just, I can leave them out for a week just to see if a week makes a difference. I wanted to test them for four days because I knew four days, I was gonna leave them for five. I, th I thought five would be all right, but four was, four was fine. I put them in on the 10th. Yeah, I put them in on the 10th. I was gonna pull them, on on the, pull them out on the 17th. But four days, just exposed to the air and they took a spark, no dramas. Um, and you saw how easily they take a spark without, I don't have to fluff them. I don't have to, doesn't matter which one I pick. Just pick one up, and just drive sparks into it. There's no fluffing involved or anything. I just drive sparks into them and they start embering away. I'm one over on these. I was very negative about them before. I didn't think there was a niche for them. Um, that has proved, proved me an idiot. Um, yep, fully embracing them now. I love them. That has won me for prepared tinder. Um, that goes right next to bulrush fluff for me. Nitrated bulrush fluff and ashlow cotton balls for me. They're the two prepared tinders for me now. Um, both of them do not seem to be affected by time or moisture. Leaving them in. I think I'd be worried about leaving um, leaving bulrush fluff out like that. I don't know if it'd pick a spark up after four days of leaving it out. Um, I've never tried it. Always kept it in bags, just out of habit. You always keep your tinders in bags just so that it doesn't get wet. Especially once now that now that we've developed Ziploc bags, you know, as you always keep it, keep it, make sure it's dry. Keep your tinder dry. Keep your powder dry. That's the old idiom. But this um, exposed to the house air, um, that's a fantastic result. I'm just blown away. I, I can't believe it. It's full on. It's a magnificent result from it. So glad Andrew suggested that. Um, he's always thinking, he's always putting ideas in my head, which is good, pushes me, pushes me forward, which is great. It's what makes our friendship so good. But anyway, yeah, I wanted to report on that. Um, I don't think a week will make a difference. Four days is enough to prove the concept that these are a very viable tinder. Um, make up a 12, 12 pH batch and start doing cotton balls because I think cotton balls are that and punk wood because, um, yeah, that, that is something to be very, to be considered um yeah if you can get like you just store it in i think yeah store them in little waxed canvas bags a little bit of air is going to get in them but that doesn't seem wouldn't wouldn't hurt them um 
Or maybe in a little Ziploc bag and then put them in a canvas bag. Yeah, who cares? What's the difference? They're not going to get pick up any moisture then. Yeah, fantastic result anyway. After four days, and they picked up a spark. Didn't matter. They picked up a spark just as easily as the ones that kept in bags. Anyway, I'll keep these out for a week just to prove the concept. I'm going to go and fill my one of my mason jars up with um, cotton wool balls and soak them for 36 hours and then dry them out. So that's what my plans are for today. Um, making a few videos about this stuff. But it's all good. This is what I'm doing at the moment. Um, Ash Lai, I seem to be on a bit of a kick of it. But it's, it's exciting, um, for me anyway. Um, good stuff. But the window is quickly closing for Ash, so I'm going to probably get one more one more mason jar full of ash lye and then that'll be the end of it. Um, I've only got, I didn't make up as much as I thought I'd be able to, so I'm going to have a couple more fires over the weekend and um, get up another half a bucket. I've got no ash at the moment, but I'll get another half a bucket of ash and make up. I'll have three mason jars. I want three mason jars of ash lye. And that will see me through the summer, hopefully, see me through the summer for my ash lie experiments. And um, as soon as winter comes around, I'm having fires every day through the winter. I'm not going to do it. That's if I can sustain it. Um, yeah, it'll just be able, I, I, I just got to be able to keep the wood up to it, up to that fire pit. So yeah, that, these cotton balls are still going. <laughs> anyway, that's a fantastic result. Yeah, fantastic result. Um, I'm, I'm blown away by it. Speechless. Um, yeah, I've never seen a tinder be unaffected like that except for steel wool. Yeah, that, that, that is, yeah, full on. Anyway, yeah. Take that as you will. Thanks for watching.